Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the prospective uh, <laughs> students who would like to get into Mahindra Eco Central. Uh, before we get into more depth, just a couple of words about MEC. MEC was set up in 2014. Uh, it's it's a, it's a collaborative venture between the tech mahindra uh, of the mahindra mahindra group and uh, ecol central of paris which is now uh, referred to as central superlec uh, as all of you are aware um, central superlec is amongst the best engineering campuses in uh, france uh, in the qs rankings it's ranked at number 79 uh, initially when we started in 2014 it was a hand holding stage uh, where we had uh, uh, curricular imports. We had two deans from Equal Central sitting on the MEC campus. Uh, it was for two years. And by around 1617, uh, um, um, the hand holding sort of ceased. We were into a more mature phase of uh, uh, academic uh, activities. And uh, so we have our own deans. Uh, um, in curriculum, we take inputs uh, from Equal Central. Just to give you a very brief uh, this thing, in France, engineering education is not discipline centric. It's called an engineering diploma, uh, as they call it, is equivalent to a master's degree. And there's a heavy focus on the sciences and mathematics because they believe that a student has to be very analytically oriented. Uh, so you have as many as uh, uh, six mathematics courses and five physics courses, uh, which uh, enables a student to actually uh, analyze uh, things very very, very critically uh, because nowadays all HR companies uh, look at uh, uh, top is communication followed by teamwork and then logical thinking and analytical ability technical thinking comes uh, ranked at number five um, uh, so now in under under the new phase of our agreement with the eco central uh, um, the, the, their senior people will be providing inputs to MEC. Uh, our faculty get to do research projects, joint research projects. A number of them are doing that. Uh, students get to intern at um, uh, Ecole Centrale in the summer period. And finally, a student finishing uh, a degree, a bachelor's degree in engineering uh, uh, from MEC can then go and spend two years at Ecole Centrale subsequently, uh, wherein he will then pick up the Ecole Centrale degree. Uh, so for our graduating batch in 2018, we have six uh, top students who will be uh, spending two years, that is from 2018 to 2020 at the Ecole Central um, campus in Paris, and then they'll come out with a French degree so that they're eligible for French employment or they can continue doing their PhD in some of the, some of the top places across the world. Okay, that's a very brief about uh, uh, MEC. Uh, our graduating batch of 2018 uh, uh, 223 students uh, have finished their degree, uh, out of which, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 48, 48 of these 223 are proceeding for higher studies. Uh, uh, higher studies, uh, uh, one in France, in Germany, in Japan, uh, in Australia, and in the US. Uh, I mean, I have students who, uh, a student, one student has been admitted to Cornell, one to Columbia, one to Georgia Tech, uh, a number of them going to Ecole Centrale or to um, other uh, campuses in France and Germany. So there's a heavy uh, input of uh, the first batch of MEC into higher education. Uh, uh, we've had a number of uh, uh, placement companies which have uh, uh, visited us. Um, I mean, uh, as many as 32 companies have visited the MEC campus uh, uh, over the period uh, uh, February, March, and April. And we're still expecting some companies in uh, uh, June and July, so up to end of July. Uh, average salary uh, uh, up to now for the MEC 2014 graduating batch in the range of somewhere between seven to eight lakhs. Uh, of course, uh, Computer science uh, commands the highest average salary, which is uh, eight plus lakhs, uh, and then the other departments uh, follow through. That's why. Okay, uh, if, if if you ask me to give you a, a sort of a, a breakdown about uh, companies which have come in over the last uh, 90 to 120 days, uh, companies like. Um, going from Baiju's, uh, which is looking at the non-technical area, to DBS Bank, to Ground Incorporated, which is an international offer from Japan, uh, ZS Associates, um, 
uh, Photon, we got the Reheja group, we got Shapurji, Palonji, LNT. Um, we have uh, from the Mahindra side, we got Mahindra and Mahindra, Tech Mahindra, Mahindra Combiver, Volcomen, uh, Microsoft, Persistent, uh, at Sterlite, Synopsis, Gap Incorporated, uh, uh, Thin Sea Semiconductor, Deep Red Inc. Um, I've had um, Darwin Box and Hexagon in HP Enterprise and KPIT, uh, Meteopol, Infor, uh, um, and uh, uh, let, let, let me just think through. I think Media Net has come in, the RAM Group, uh, uh, Hyundai, Voltas, and For Forestia is the latest, which is uh, uh, calling our students uh, for interviews at Bangalore. Okay. Um, so overall, I think it has been a, a fairly uh, successful uh, uh, linkage which has happened uh, uh, with the with the industry. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we 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 at Mahindra Eco Central, in line with our uh, uh, thinking of our international partner uh, Central Superlek, we 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 focus a lot on summer internships. I think summer internships is is, is a very important facet of. Uh, the academic activity at MEC because it enables a student to actually get into the industry uh, or get into the academic side depending upon their inclination and then see what they could do uh, to a great extent. Uh, so just to give an example for summer of 2018, uh, we have students who are going to go for academic internships or who are proceeding for industry internships. Uh, academic internships means uh, doing research projects. This is not just going and uh, uh, hanking, panking around. So on the academic internship side, um, within India, I have students who are getting into IIC Bangalore, IIT Delhi, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Bombay, IIT Madras, IIIT Hyderabad, which is close by, and IIT Hyderabad also, which is close by. Uh, besides that, they're doing internships at uh, uh, DRDO, uh, NRSC, uh, T Hub, which is the biggest entrepreneurial center in India. Uh, overseas academic internships. Uh, I have students who are proceeding to Eco Central. They're going to CNRS France. They're going to um, one of the big uh, uh, universities in uh, Germany, Japan. Uh, and in the US market, I have students going to Georgia Tech, uh, University of Florida, University of Texas, Austin, and to IIT Chicago. And all these are 10 week research projects, which the third year students will undertake. And so that when they come back uh, and do their project activity in semesters seven and eight, they can carry on doing this project work. Uh, so this is one of the biggest uh, um, uh, potential uh, which, which will emerge from this is that they, they can actually link up to uh, specific faculty overseas in the overseas campus so that they can further the research thoughts uh, to a good degree. On the industry side, as I said, uh, we have students who, who are proceeding for industry internships from PSUs uh, to uh, private sector organizations and, of course, in the Mahindra group. Um, I have more or less, uh, we, we, of, of all the 230 students of the third year batch, we have at least around 80 to 90% who have um, taken up some internships in some form or the other. The balance are, of course, doing uh, project work on campus at MEC with specific uh, faculty out here. Because ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest uh, USPs of MEC is that uh, our faculty are all PhD doctoral level um, faculty. They've all done their PhDs either from the IIT system or from overseas. And uh, because we don't have doctoral students on campus as we are an AI city approved institution, uh, the undergraduate students actually get to do a heavy amount of research work with the faculty. So we have undergraduate students who actually have major publications in peer reviewed journals, you know, that's why. Okay, uh, I, I think I'll, I'll just pause here because I, I love to hear uh, questions from your side. Uh, anybody typing in a question, I'll be more than willing to answer in. I, I have a, a, a question here which says that, hello, sir, I'm Akshat's mother. Um, there is no audio at my end. You can, oh. Okay, there is, uh, okay, let me just, uh, can we call him? Because I'd like to expand this, you know. Uh, one second, I have a lot of questions here. So let me uh, just see whether we can, uh, uh, whether we can take a good look at it. 
uh, somebody is asking i got swaroop uh, from uh, andhra who is asking uh, um, mechanical branch is good for students who like physics uh, more than maths i i, I really wouldn't uh, uh, get into this liking physics more than maths etc because uh, uh, both the mathematics and the sciences are essential to produce a good engineer, be it in computer science, be it in, be it in mechanical, be it in civil, be it in triple E. You need to have a good uh, grounding. That's why. They, how do we keep on seeing this question? You are just a small this thing. Can we increase the size here? I'll just... Uh, So the camera, the uh, questions are coming up now. So if we can, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, I got the questions one by one. Let's uh, go on. Uh, uh, I had uh, Maladi uh, Chandradas. He has left. Uh, Akshat, um, Akshat's mother. Uh, uh, I'm sorry if you don't have an audio. I answered Sai Swaroop Andra. Um, uh, Ravi Karan is asking about the fee structure. Fee structure is uh, uh, the tuition fee is uh, four lakhs uh, per uh, year, Ravi, and added to that is a hostel fee of one point five lakhs, which is all inclusive. And then there's a twenty five thousand rupee per year uh, Jimkana fee. So that's five point seven five lakhs per year. You'll have to pay over four years. That's why. Okay, Jagan is saying, want to know the connection of E-Coal. It is a complete partnership, some sort of academic support. What is the relation with JNTU? Jagan, as I said, I explained to you um, uh, the relationship with E-Coal Central. Uh, JNTU is the um, is the is the degree awarding institution uh, right now because we are a not we are not a university. But Jagan, I'd just like to inform you that uh, Telangana passed the Private University Act in early April, and MEC is slated to shortly become a university. It should be the first private university in Telangana if all goes well within the next couple of months. That's why. Um, Sahil's father, Mr. Nilesh Sagar from Maharashtra, MEC is comparatively with Newcon. There's a lot of apprehension of the future journey in the institute. Please also give placement stats. Uh, uh, hi, uh, Mr. Nilesh. I have been given, I have over the last uh, 10 15 minutes provided you play the placement statistics. MEC, yes, is a relative new college. It's four years old, but please note that uh, uh, every, every institute stands on four legs. So one is uh, quality of faculty. If you can check out from the website, we have 64 faculty or all PhD level only. Uh, second is the quality of the students and students who are in MEC are all JE advanced qualified students. Uh, third is the infrastructure. Please come and take a look at our infrastructure. We got some of the best labs possible, state of the art labs. And the educational ambience which you provide, I think, is of a very high quality due to our relationship with Equal Central. Okay. Uh, Akshat Saxena is again asking about the criteria for selection. Criteria for selection, uh, uh, Mr. Saxena, is uh, the JE main score which your student should have. It should be 74 or above, or uh, you should have a JE mains rank of 2 lakh 20 thousand uh, or below. Okay, that's the selection criteria. If you have it, then you can immediately put in your application online. Uh, we have a first round of counseling on Friday, 25th uh, May, and we'll have a second round towards the end of June. That's right. Uh, how are the placements of civil engineering in MEC? Ravi Kiran is asking. Yes, Ravi, uh, we, we have uh, uh, civil engineering placements. An average salary of six and a half lakhs has been achieved. The students have been placed in uh, LNT, in Shapur G. Palonji, in the Raheja group, in the Ram group. And of course, they've gone to um, uh, um, non-technical uh, side like Baiju's and Photon. And uh, some of them have opted for uh, uh, the IT side like Tech Mahindra and ZS Associates. And we have one student who's actually gone and joined Ground Incorporated in Japan with a uh, starting salary of 30 lakhs uh, per annum. That's the one for the civil engineering students, okay? Uh, I'm offering, I'm replying one by one. Uh, Raghavesh Vishwanath, Malini Vishwanath ji, uh, what is the vision of MEC in time to come around? What would make it an institution to reckon with? Uh, um, Malini ji, I think let's let's put it this way, uh, backed by the Mahindra and Mahindra group and Tech Mahindra, and with the vision and uh, and the sounding board and the push of Eco Central, 
uh, Mahindra Eco Central should become one of the best engineering campuses in India, uh, which uh, looks at not only producing engineers, but also developing the business leaders of tomorrow, because every technical person at some stage in their life would like to get into some sort of managerial ropes, role. So we're actually looking at developing the business leaders of tomorrow, which means that besides the technical content, our students are uh, have excellent communication skills, excellent managerial ability, and they're able to go around and come around and organize everything. Everything which is non-academic, which is done in MEC is done with the students. So they run their own clubs, they have their own sports units, they, they organize their own fests and industry conclaves, etc. That's why um, uh, Mr. Kulkarni, grandfather of Aditya Dixit, who has applied to him, how preferable is mechanical engineering, computer science, or any specialized automotive, uh, sir, is a specialization in mechanical, which normally will be offered through electives in the fourth year because our electives are offered in semester six, seven, eight. So auto electives could be picked up by your son at that time. Okay. Uh, as I said, you're talking about students getting into foreign universities for higher studies directly from MIC. As I said, in the first batch of 223 students, I have 48 students who opted for higher education studies. Um, uh, I have a student going to Columbia, Cornell, Georgia Tech, uh, Eco Central, other French institutes, uh, institutes in Germany. They're going all over, uh, including NTU, NUS. I think they're making a mark for themselves, the first 2018 graduating batch. That's why uh, Mr. Kulkarni says you're ex-GM of M&M Nasik. Oh, if you are an ex-GM of M&M Nasik, I'm sure, Mr. Kulkarni, you can actually reach out to Mahindra and Mahindra and find out what they think about MEC. Okay. Uh, Sai Swaroop is talking about placement for the mechanical branch. In the mechanical side, we've had, um, uh, as I said, uh, Mahindra Mahindra is picked up, uh, ZS Associates, Ground Incorporated also. Uh, we've had uh, students getting into Sterlite, uh, Hyundai, uh, Voltas, and Forestia is the latest one, which is uh, going to be looking at in the automotive sector. That's why. Suleka so, ji, want to know more computer science engineering placement? Uh, computer science uh, average uh, salary uh, is in the range of eight lakhs per annum, ma'am. Uh, we've had a good placement. Uh, we've had students joining uh, uh, companies like. Uh, uh, Darwin Box, Hexagon, HP Enterprise, KPIT, besides, of course, Tech Mahindra and Mahindra Mahindra. ZS Associates, uh, one student has got to Microsoft, uh, Persistent, uh, Smart Picks, Sterlite, Synopsys, Gap Incorporated, and uh, Deep Red Inc. also. Okay, so that's been a very good placement in the computer science side. That's why. Okay. Uh, Con Conrad D. Sujit is again saying, I'm not got qualified, James. Can I, uh, uh, how can I approach? I think, uh, Sujit, what you have to do is you have to take this uh, the SAT and the subject related SAT that is physics, chemistry and mathematics. And you've got to get a minimum of 1800 marks uh, out of 2400 to qualify for being interviewed by a faculty for a seat under the SAT uh, quota. OK, with the 51 marks in JE means you cannot uh, uh, try and get into MEC. You have to try the SAT route. OK. Um, I think again, Ravi Kiran is saying, how, how is MEC different from VNR, VJ, IET, or CBIT? I, I, uh, Ravi Kiran, I'll just say one thing. Number one, the colleges you're talking about are at least uh, 15 to 20 years old. Uh, uh, how is MEC different? Check the faculty quality out. I don't think the other three or four colleges you're talking about can boast about 100% PhD level faculty. We have 100% PhD level faculty. We're very, very selective. Uh, how we select our faculty. Um, their PhDs have to be from the IIT system of home overseas. We will not accept anything lesser. Uh, they have to have a good research publication record uh, because after all, research is the one which keeps them up to date and then that's conveyed to students. I think these are two or three pointers you can check out, Ravi. Uh, please check out the, our website and compare it to the other websites as far as faculty quality go, okay? Uh, Sanjay Agarwal is saying, can I expect to get admission at MEC in mechanical with a JE score of 59? Sorry, Sanjay, 59 is below the cutoff of 74. So you will not be called for counseling with a score of 59. That's why. Uh, Raga West says, uh, wanted to know whether MEC con considers subject SAT scores as well. Yes, it, it is subject SAT score. We are interested in Raga. As I said, it is subject SAT score for physics, 
chemistry and mathematics, you need a minimum of 1800 out of 2400 to be considered for further um, um, uh, for, for, for interview stage. OK, if you have that, please apply to us online. What is the starting salary for BTEC engineering and mechanical engineering? Thanks and regards, Mr. Kulkarni. Uh, the the starting salary, I don't know. They 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 the uh, they, it it ranges uh, it ranges in a big way because um, we've had Mahindra and Mahindra paying salaries of six lakhs. Uh, I got um, uh, Voltas with an international offer of ten and a half lakhs. Uh, Reheja Group is six lakhs. Schlumberger. Um, has offered a salary of 15 lakhs, and that's for mechanical engineering students. Um, I have uh, 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 LNT construction, which is looking at around five, five and a half to six lakhs. Uh, Synopsis with a 10 lakh offer, Sterlites with Sterlite with a five lakhs offer. Overall, on an average, if you ask me in mechanical engineering, the average salary has been in the range of six lakhs. That's what the average is. Okay, that's why. Um, uh, Suleka ji, you're saying cutoff marks for each branch. I think it depends upon the the number of students who turn up for counseling uh, on the last year's basis. 2017 admissions cutoff for computer science was in the range of 125. Um, mechanical and triple uh, E closed at 100, and civil was 81. But please note, last year's JE advanced cutoff was 81. This year it has dropped to 74. So these cutoff marks will differ. OK, uh, Sai Swaroop is saying I want to be part of DRD or ISRO. I think uh, Sai Swaroop, then you should automatically come to us at MEC because uh, we have faculty who have come from DRD and ISRO and who are working with us. Please check out uh, faculty details on the website. Secondly, we have uh, students, a number of students who do summer internships at both of these two organizations. So that I think is a good uh, way of pushing forward. Percentage of placed students, higher study students, and waiting students of total passing out students. Pramod, as I mentioned to you right at the start, 223 is the uh, size of the graduating batch in 2018, out of which 48 students are going for higher studies. Out of the uh, number of eligible, of the number of students who are eligible for placement, I've achieved 90% placement. Okay, okay, that's 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 my statistics. What about placements in Tripoli? Says Anand. Un, uh, triple E placements have ranged from companies such as Meteopole to Sterlite to HP Enterprise to Hexagon, uh, besides, of course, uh, Zeres Associates and Tech Mahindra. Okay. Uh, the average salary in Triple E has been in the range of roughly around five and a half lakhs uh, per annum. That's why. Okay. Uh, Chaitanya from Civil Engineering Side who went to abroad, what's the package? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I mean, this is the first graduating batch, so they're now going abroad, uh, Chaitanya. There is no way I can tell you what the package is there. They're going abroad for higher studies. How is MAC different from VIT Manipal? Rahul, I don't think you should ask us a question. VIT started in 1984 and became a university in 2001. Manipal started when I was a student in IIT Kharagpur in the 1970s. It's been on for the last 50 to 60 years. So there's no way you should compare a four-year-old campus with VIT and Manipal. They are big campuses with 25 to 30,000 students. They have huge number of courses etc but again i'll make only one point check out level and quality of faculty and you will come around to saying that mec faculty is much better than the faculty at both of these two campuses okay uh, Ravindranath is saying can we get computer science for 130 je marks i'm sure Ravindranath. i'm sure that you'll be able to get that with us let's hope that we see you on friday 25th on campus uh, is there any other way without SAT exam? Condor Reddy Sujit is saying, no, sorry, Sujit. It's either JE main score or the SAT exam score. We don't have any other way of entering MEC. Okay. Ravi Karan is saying, I got 148936 all India rank in JE mains. Can I get MEC? Ravi Karan, you will be called if you have not got um, 74 and above in the JE mains, but you still have this rank. Uh, you'll be called for counseling in the second round, which will be held towards the third week of June. So please wait for our uh, additional information from our side. Uh, how many publications from MEC in journals? Smita ji is asking. Smita ji, I think um, there are uh, even even without uh, running a doctoral program, um, the publication record of uh, faculty in journals of peer-reviewed status is very very high. 
If I have 64 faculty, I think the number of publications on an average uh, every year should be in the range of roughly around 100 to 150. That's the range, okay? Because our faculty do excellent research and that too with top level overseas campuses. Uh, MEC affiliated to JNTU will join Umaji. We have a specific MOU with uh, JNTU. JNTU is a degree awarding university. As far as setting up of exams, the grading, the grading of exams, the conduct of exams, MEC does it all by itself. JNTU does not do anything for us. Okay. Karthik is saying, would a cumulative score of 2100 or 2400 SAT subjects help me get a seat in CSC? Karthik, uh, my uh, request is please uh, put in your application. We will then uh, do a, a, a Skype interview with you. And if in the Skype interview we're convinced that uh, you are a good uh, uh, student for the computer science, then obviously you'll be taken into computer science. Please do that. Okay. Nilesh Ji again is saying, 156 in JE mains is applied online, but the first round of counseling starts 50th, 25th. It's too early to take a decision. And the JE advanced results declared in 10th. Okay, Nilesh Ji, um, uh, with the 156, please come for counseling on 25th May. Um, uh, I'm sure that your son will get uh, uh, computer science with us. If he gets a very good score in JE advanced, uh, and uh, decides to join the IIT system, which of course we'd be delighted if he gets that. Uh, we will refund the complete amount you have paid to us and deduct only 1,000 rupees, only 1,000 rupees as per AICD guidelines. That is our commitment. We will not deduct anything more. So I'm sure that you'll avail of this uh, uh, facility with us. Okay. Uh, Raghavesh is saying, uh, uh, Raghavesh, I think, I think let, let's look at it this way. Um, uh, um, students, uh, it's mandatory that students stay in the hostel at the MEC campus, uh, which means that uh, uh, they have there's a lot of activity post academic hours uh, and a lot of extracurricular activity which takes place. Uh, as I said, we have roughly around 30 student clubs uh, running on campus besides sports activities. All of these are run by students themselves. Uh, which are the specific events which students conduct uh, during the year. Number one is the technical festival, the cultural festival, then they have a sports festival, and then they have a very specific um, uh, event called the Santral Conclave, which is an industry uh, conclave where some of the top industrialists and top uh, uh, members are called in for a panel discussion, two, three rounds of panel discussion. That is done exactly all by the students. Uh, besides that, uh, every Thursday afternoon, there are no classes at MEC, uh, which means that we're able to get in an external speaker. And once a month, we'll have a top industrialist coming in to talk to students. I think that motivates and enthuses students like anything. Um, Smita ji, yes, uh, all internships uh, are organized by uh, the, 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 the MEC, uh, unless of course the student is able to get one by himself. Thank you, Pramoji. Thank you. Uh, Anusha is saying, I got 72 marks in JE and scored rank 1,12,535. Anusha, as I said, with 72, you'll not be called for the first round of counseling. But with the rank of 1,12,535 in the JE mains, you'll be called for the second round, uh, which means which will be held in the third week of June. That's why. Jay Kumarji, yes. Uh, soft skill development is a, is, a, is, a, is a particular USP at MEC. Uh, are you, you, should, you should look at the confidence and the communication ability of uh, at least 80% of our students. It's, it's, it's of a very, very high level. And that's what we encourage out here. Because after all, uh, every HR uh, chief says uh, communication ability of a student is top priority now. Because nowadays we're living in a globalized world. We are not working in isolation. I could be sitting in Hyderabad and my counterpart could be sitting somewhere in uh, Houston or in San Francisco and I've got to get my point of view across to that particular counterpart, which means my communication ability has to be of such a level that they're able to follow me and able to appreciate what I'm trying to say. Okay, uh, Sai Swaroop with 93 marks. I am, I think, I think uh, compared to last year, your mechanical should be there at 93 marks in JE mains. Uh, Prane, you said hello, sir. Hello, Prane. Anandji, is there any need of interphysics for mechanical in Tripoli? Uh, interphysics, I don't understand what you mean by that. 
uh, Pranay expected cutoff for CSC. I cannot um, uh, say anything for this year. Last year, the cutoff for CSC was 124 marks. But last year, please note the JE advanced cutoff was 81, whereas this year it's dropped to 74. So I'm sure there'll be a drop in the cutoff for CSC also. Okay. Chaitanya, uh, in MEC college, only 60 students is present in class. Um, uh, we, we admit 60 students per discipline. So 60 for computer science, 60 for triple E, 60 for civil and 60 for mechanical. That's total of 240 students. First year classes are common. So first year, uh, all 240 students sit in a class uh, so that a senior faculty can take the lecture. Uh, our tutorials and labs are all 30 students only. Please note that. That's why. Um, Pranay is again asking SAT. I, I, I can't get your question fully. How many industry sponsored research projects are running at MEC? Rahul, we have uh, as of date, as of today, uh, around five research projects uh, which are sponsored by uh, DST, DRDO, and ISRO, which are operating on the MEC campus. Okay. Uh, we should shortly be putting up the details on the website. You can take a look at it. Okay. What are the weightage of interview for, interview for admissions? Smithaji, for uh, admissions based on JE main score, and there is no interview. The interview is only for SAT, SAT based admissions. Please note that. Okay. Uh, somebody has written, I got 17 JE mains. Can I get a seat? Uh, 70 is below the cutoff of 74. I'm sorry. I don't think we can do that. We'll have to look at your JE mains rank. That should be below 220,000. Is the college providing hostels for girls in the new building? Uh, girls uh, uh, will continue staying in the hostels uh, in the old setup. And the, the new hostel block uh, is for boys only. Uh, we have two hostels uh, for the girls. And uh, so far, I've not had any complaints about that. Okay. Expected cutoff for CSC through SAT. Pranay, again, you're asking, as I said, you need to have a minimum 1800. But I think computer science, the, the cutoff has been in the range of 2150 on, on that range, you know. But it depends on the interview also. Uh, JE main score is 118. Can I expect CSE Venugopal? I, I, I am sure. I hope uh, that for your sake that the cutoff uh, uh, will be in that range for CSC. But I'm sure that you should be able to get CSC at 118. Okay, is there any sliding arrangement to get a branch of choice in the second or third round? Uh, Rahul, it, it, it depends. It depends upon the number of students who drop out uh, and number of seats left because please note as per AICT regulations, we cannot cross 60 seats in each discipline, which we will not do. Okay, uh, Chaitanya Raghava, uh, I got 90,000 rank. I want to join in civil engineering. With a 90,000 rank, I don't know what your JE main score is. If it is 74 and above, you should be able to get civil engineering with us, Raghava. Uh, and lateral shifting out first year, Rahul, uh, is, 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 uh, might be difficult because, as I said, right now we are AICT approved, so we cannot increase the number of seats uh, at the end of any year. It has to remain 60 or less only. But once we become a university, then the, the, the possibility of a lateral shift will come into play. Okay. Uh, there is no exclusive automotive engineering mechanical Aditya. Uh, automotive is a subsect of mechanical and that's the way you should treat it. Uh, institutions which are offering a BTEC in automotive engineering, I would look at them with a lot of suspicion because 80% of the courses which you do are mechanical engineering courses only. Okay, that's why. Uh, SAT score of 2020, can my son get into EC or CSC? Umaji, if you have applied to us, uh, we will do an interview of your son and basis the interview. Uh, we will then take a decision whether that particular discipline can be made uh, applicable to him or not. Uh, Suleka ji, specialization in computer science. I think Suleka ji, uh, we, we, have, we have faculty who are there in the area of uh, uh, database systems, data, data structures, algorithms, uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence is getting developed into a new area. Uh, we, we have faculty who are covering all the areas of computer science. I don't think there is any problem about specialization. Uh, Karthik is talking about entrepreneurship incubation. Yes, Karthik, we are uh, starting our own uh, center for uh, entrepreneurship on campus from August 2018. And the incubator at uh, MEC, which is going to be called eHub, will also become uh, active from August onwards. Um, we should have somebody who will be manning the incubator who will be able to guide and advise students on their ideas, on their thoughts, which they're able to come up with. Okay. Uh, again, I, I have a query saying my rank is 1,57,000. Yes, you'll be called for the second round of counseling, which is towards the third week of June. Okay. 
uh, what are the fests organized by MEC, Sai Swarup? I think please check the website. But besides that, just to say we have a technical festival, we have a cultural festival, we have a sports festival, and of course we have the industry conclave, which is called the central conclave. These are the four major events uh, which, which happen. Uh, the, the tech and the cultural fests uh, will happen in the first semester. That is the, the period between around uh, September, around October. And the, the sports festival in the central conclave normally take place during March, April in the second semester. That's why. Hmm? Is there a need of physics teach taught during inter first year and second year for branches like uh, Anand, please note that uh, there are four, uh, four physics courses which are taught at MEC for all engineering students, uh, one every semester for the four, four, for the first four semesters. Okay. Um, can I get a seat in your college? I think you're the same person who's talking about a rank of 157,000. Yes, you'll be called for the second round of counseling the third week of June. Uh, cutoff marks, same for students under OBC category. Yes, Anusha, uh, we, we, this cutoff marks will remain the same for all students. That's why. Are you planning to start another CSC branch with any specialization? Venugopal, we cannot start any other CSC branch without approval with AICT. If they allow us to open another branch with 60 more seats, then students will automatically be informed about it. Merit scholarships, Rahul, yes. The first uh, 20 per, top 20% in each discipline get a 1 lakh merit scholarship. So if I have uh, 60 uh, students in each discipline, that means the first 12 the top 12 are given a merit scholarship of 1 lakh uh, in the first year on the basis of the JE main score. Uh, and uh, for continuing the scholarship, it will be on the basis of performance at the end of the first year for a scholarship in the second year, a uh, basis of a performance at the end of the second year for the scholarship in the third year and so on. So it doesn't mean a student who's got a scholarship when entering MEC will be able to continue the scholarship unless he or she remains in the top 20% of the class. That's why. Um, Aditya is again asking for opportunities for automotive engineers in India. I think Aditya, I'm not going to get into that answer because I think there are better people who can give you better answers than that. Uh, foreign language during VTech course. That's right, Jay Kumar. Uh, I'm sorry, I did not say. Uh, we, we teach a French course every semester for eight semesters. This is a non-credit uh, compulsory mandatory French course, which is taught for eight semesters. Because as, as I informed you, because of our relationship with Ecole Centrale, a number of students proceed to France for internships and higher studies. And a, a minimum level of French is required uh, to proceed there. And that's why a mandatory non-credit French course is offered at every semester for eight semesters. That means eight French courses are offered to students. Uh, we will look at uh, whether we need to start other uh, foreign courses or not in the in due course. Is there any club related to filmmaking in MEC? Anand, you asked a very vital question. Yes, we have a big media uh, center, uh, media lab in, in, in our campus because in the first semester, there's a very interesting media course which is taught to students where they where they develop their own uh, YouTube videos, etc., using the facilities of the media lab. Please join us and see how much fun students have in that particular media lab. You know, fee structure of the college. I've already informed. Tuition fee is four lakhs per annum. Uh, hostel is one and a half lakhs per annum, which includes the laundry and messing. And there's a gymkhana fee of twenty-five thousand rupees per annum, which means that every student has to pay 5.75 5 lakhs per annum for four years okay Ra Ra hello sir the ragava and mec college branch is present b arc is present no sorry we don't have b architecture ragava sorry our foreign internships are sponsored as self finance um, um foreign internships are are uh, as far as travel and stay is concerned they're self-financed as far as the academic uh, fees are concerned with the foreign uh, university for an internship, they don't charge because of the relationship which MEC has with them. Uh, what about the food provided in MEC? Anand, Anand, uh, uh, we have outsourced catering to a company called Food Sutra, which is also the caterer to all of Mahindra, Mahindra and Tech Mahindra in Hyderabad. Uh, they do the same, this thing. Um, uh, we have four meals a day, breakfast, lunch, tea and dinner which is served to students. Um, we have as many as uh, two vegetables, uh, uh, dal, sambar, rasam, dahi, etc., which is provided. Non-vegetarian is provided, I think, three to four times 
a week. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, uh, I have a question from Akshat that gets a deemed university in the next couple of years. What will the batch at uh, Please note, Akshat, uh, it's not a deemed university. We, uh, Mahindra, Equal uh, Santral, uh, should become a private university under Telangana maybe in the next four to six months. If that happens, then uh, all students will automatically uh, get the Mahindra Equal degree rather than the JNTU. Okay. Anusha, do we have also animation, visual effects? Animation, etc. Anusha is, is part of the uh, computer science program and that uh, will be taught and uh, you'll be able to do that as part of the four year degree program. Okay. I heard that MEC conducts weekly tests. Anand, it is up to the faculty concern. As I said, when we kicked off uh, in the hand holding stage with Equal Central, we had weekly tests. Nowadays, it's up to a faculty because we depend a lot on faculty independence. So that's that's very high in our uh, uh, in our list of things. If a faculty feels that he needs to he or she needs to give a surprise uh, quiz or test to students at the end of every week, they can do that. So I think some do it, some don't, depending upon the nature of the subject involved. Okay. Karthik is saying, what's the weightage given to student interview SAT score? Karthik, please note, uh, qualifying cutoff is 1800 in SAT. If you have that, then you'll be interviewed. Then everything is basis your interview. Okay. How you doing that? I think uh, makes up. Uh, will actually project which discipline you will get. Okay, uh, I'm still carrying on. Raghava and civil engineering, interior design are present. Uh, interior design is, is not a specific course which is taught in civil engineering, but however, there could be some amount of interest uh, because Mahindra lifescapes, landscapes, uh, is all does also get involved with some amount of activity so there could be uh, this thing in fact i have a graduating student who is very good in interior design and is actually earning a, quite a lot of money uh, by himself uh, on, on that area uh, library raghavesh i think whatever you require for a library is available on campus we have uh, any book which is uh, asked for by faculty is provided so i don't see a problem with the library at all okay um, is there a scope for civil engineering future anand yes I think civil engineering is, is always in demand because uh, building structures, uh, whether it be highway, whether it be uh, bridges, whether it's anything, will always be built. Uh, in fact, infrastructure development in India is at a very high time and will remain so over the next, uh, I think, five to ten years because of the way India has to develop. So civil engineering will always be uh, a discipline in demand. But however, uh, pure civil engineers will have to go and work in the field. They cannot sit in air-conditioned offices and work. So it means you have to be ready to get out into the field and get yourself dirty. Okay. Starting salary for computer science, Anusha. I don't know what starting salary, average salary computer science this year for a graduating batch in the range of around eight and a half lakhs. Uh, so you can take that uh, and, and think further. Evaluation of students as per JNT norm. No, Rahul, as I said, all correction, all grading is done by MEC faculty only. Okay. The grades are assigned by MEC. They're then JNTU then announces them. Okay, everything is MEC. Okay, I think uh, that uh, looks to be the last question. Um, we are somewhere near uh, five to five. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if there's nothing more, uh, please uh, let me thank you for your patience for remaining online and listening to us. If there's anything specific which you want to reach out to us, please give us a call at. Uh, Mahindra Eco Central, the numbers are listed. You can call and talk to us and we will get back to you with whatever uh, replies we can. Um, uh, let me also say that I look forward to meeting uh, most of you uh, who all have qualified on Friday 25th. Uh, I will be on campus so we can discuss even then. Uh, Anand is asking, I've scored 90 marks in JE mains. Can I get a, a seat in CSC? Anand, everything depends upon the number of students who turn up for counseling and what their uh, scores are. But with 90, you should get a seat with uh, at MEC. Whether you get CSC or not, I don't know. I can't answer that. Okay. Uh, Akshat, uh, all 90% uh, of eligible students have been placed of the 2018 batch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.